Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stoneworks video. Today we are testing out this vehicle behind us, which is, I can't even remember, it's by Sermotac and uh, it looks insane. So we're going to be using it, let's go ahead and get in with it and uh, fly it around, let's go. Okay, so it is called the De Havilland Canada DHC-6. Twin Otter. So, yeah. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> it's beautiful. So, it looks like a short takeoff landing plane. Not entirely sure if it is. Um, but, you know, we're going to go ahead and jump inside. Uh, if we can. <laughs> Where's the door? There it is. There oh, that's a clever idea. That's a clever idea. Hiding the button on the... Yeah, that's a clever idea. We're going to go ahead and close that up. Anyway, uh, we're going to take off in this thing. Uh, there are a lot of things that we have to do in this. So, uh, we'll do all of this. And then we'll get going. And then hopefully... Hopefully, 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 we'll be able to find something in the ocean. Yes, that's what we're doing today. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this thing up. We've got a left starter, we got a right starter, we got a battery. Okay, we got the right gen, left gen, we got lights, lights, engine throttle, propeller, okay. And then all the lights on this side, cabin's heat, cabin lights. Okay, cool, so we'll start with the battery. Then we go left starter, right starter. Uh, okay, is there a fuel? There we go, boop boop, and all right, okay, is it working? <laughs> okay, engine throttle, there we go, there we go, beautiful. All right, that startup is actually pretty nice. Let's go ahead and start the generators. There we go, we'll throttle up to full, beautiful. We'll turn on our instrument lights, our floodlights, beautiful, wait, floodlights? Okay, yeah, sure, anti-collision lights and nav lights, all right, awesome. We've also got cabin heat and cabin lights if we need it, but we don't. So, um, yeah. Alright, cool. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Presumably, um, if I do this, our propeller go- Yeah, there we go. Look at that! That is beautiful. That is actually so cool. Yes! I'm really happy. So, we're gonna taxi onto the runway. Once we've taxied onto the runway, we're gonna take off and we're gonna head towards my destination. Which is eight kilometers away! Uh, and hopefully we'll find some, uh, something swimming in the ocean. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. No, We're already in the air. Beautiful. Alright, okay. We need an altitude hold and stuff like that. So we'll turn that on and we'll fly towards our destination. This thing is actually way faster than I thought it was. Like, we, we've got here in no time at all. We're only 1.5 kilometers away. I don't know where our speed is. Airspeed 155. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Um, but yeah, we are where we need to be, which is pretty nice. Um, it is very, very, I don't know. I I'm going to go with dark. <laughs> We're going to go with dark. Um, I don't know. I like the sunset in this game. It's just sometimes a little bit odd, you know? Uh, but we're going to circle around here for a second, and then we'll go ahead and land somewhere, because it seems like a good idea. Okay, so I've been flying around for a little while, trying to find some islands nearby. The only one that seems to be nearby is that one over there. Um, I am going to go ahead and fly over these trenches as well, just because, you know, it, we might as well. It's like a little, um, I don't know, like a little recon mission. It seems like a good idea. Um, because normally, I just take off, I fly around, and then I land again. So, I figured if we go ahead and we try and find some things then maybe that would be kind of cool. And maybe we could come out here in a boat in the next video and uh, have a little dive down into these trenches, because that would be cool. So there's one here. Okay. If we then go ahead and we turn around, we can fly over to the other one. And that's cool. Also, looking at these wings, I really, really like that glass. You know, it looks so good there. With the nav lights, that is awesome. That is really cool. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and turn ourselves around. We're going to fly towards this trench instead. Uh, there are a few islands down there as well, which we could land on, I suppose. Uh, but no, we're going to go this way, and um, we're going to see if there's anything at this other trench. And then, and then, and then, and then, we'll see what we can do afterwards. Alright, so I dive down a little bit lower to see if we can see anything this time, and uh, no, we can't see anything. I feel like it's a little bit too deep here to see, to see much. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to circle back around, we're going to go ahead and find an island to land on. We're going to land on the island, and then I feel like we might bring a boat out here. Uh, but that should really be the next video, I suppose. Alright, so I can just about see some islands in front of me. This is where we are going to try and land. Now, I'm going to remove my waypoint so we can actually see what we're doing. I feel like it. it is. It's the observatory. So, we might be landing at the observatory, 
if we can find enough space. Now, having a look down there, doesn't look like there's enough space for me to land. So instead of landing down there, I feel like we might just go to an airfield. Because, because yeah, we need to. Alright, cool. So we found an airbase nearby. So we're going to go ahead and line up on this and land ourselves on the ground. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off altitude hold too. Uh, so it's a little bit more easier to fly around. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, I feel like this landing is going to be easy peasy and um, yeah, we're going to have no troubles at all. But at the same time, I've never landed anything properly. If, actually, no, that's a lie. That is a lie. I've landed some things. Just um, maybe not the best not the best at it. Oh, God. I lost my vision completely there. That was weird. All right. Here we go. We got in for a landing on the actual airbase airstrip thingamabobby, whatever this is. And here we go. We're going in. We're going in. We just stalled it. <laughs> we, we literally just stalled it. It's, it flies backwards. Oh, it flies backwards. Jesus. Okay, well, that's interesting. That's interesting to know. I'm going to go and fly to a different airfield because that one's a bit spooky. If I land like that again, that, that would be upsetting. Here's an airfield right here, luckily. <laughs> There's an airfield right next to the airfield. That's really good. That's really good. Here we go. This is going to be easy this time. It's going to be really easy. Although I don't want to go into, like, reverse pitch again. Because that, that sucks, kind of. Slows you down too quickly. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know how you stop this thing because it, it's got reverse thrust. Ah! I'm going backwards. Oh, I'm going backwards. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, wee, whoa, whoa. Okay, right. That, that's okay. That's fine right there. Okay, so I've respawned back at this island, and I guess we're gonna go through the, the actual real startup procedure so you guys know what you're doing. I guess, like, you know, there is a startup procedure that you can read if you want to, but anyway. Turn on the battery switch. Bam! There we go. That's good. Turn on boost pumps. Bam! There we go. Good. Turn on starters. Bam, bam! There we go. Good. Throttle up. There we go. Good. Turn on generators and check voltage. Alright, good. Set lights as needed. That's it. So this one is actually super easy to start up, which is nice. So there we go. We got all of our lights on. It's awesome. This thing is actually really cool to fly. So, um, yeah. It sort of feels like it belongs in the Arctic, though, I'm going to be honest. Um, you know what I kind of feel like we need in this game? Maybe an island with trees on it. Like a lot of trees. That would be really, really, really cool, actually. Loads of trees. Hmm. Okay, so we might as well take off and try another landing because, you know, my landings are not the best. But, um, that, I'm sure that's fine. Uh, we got flaps if you need them, uh, which we don't. So we're just gonna go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It's easy to take off. And, um, as long as it doesn't go backwards when you're landing, because it does have a reverse, um, uh, you should be good. <laughs> you should be fine. Maybe. Possibly. You know what? Let's fly under that bridge. I don't know whether we fit, but we're, we're going to try. We're going to try and fit underneath the bridge. All right, if everybody's ready, we're going to go ahead and aim for this one just next to the mountain. This is not a good idea, but hey-ho, we're going for it anyway. Here we go. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. That one, that one was easy. The second one was really easy, but the first one, whoo, we almost hit our back, our back end. Yeah. All right, cool. Anyway, what would you use this plane for? You would use it for carting around passengers, but not really much else. I don't think it can fit any cargo in it, but, um, yeah. That's what you would use it for, so. Good luck with that. Good luck with that, dudes. Alright, let's land it. Let's land it. This this video seems a little bit weird, like I have no plan. But I did have a plan. I wanted to find the Megalodon and on and on and on. But I feel like we need a boat, so we're gonna do that in the next video. Yeah, anyway, here we go. We're gonna go in for a landing. I missed the runway, so we're just going to go ahead and put on reverse thrust and go backwards. There we go. Beautiful. All right, awesome. It's hard to find zero, but um, yeah, that's okay. It is A-OK. -okay. Put on the parking brake, and we can have a little look back here, see if there's anything else back here. we got a first aid kit, and we've got, I guess, a little table. Okay, and then we got some par- <gasps> Oh, I want to use them. Yes, let's use the parachutes. Let's take off again. Let's go. Bam. Let's go. Yes. All right, straight in the sky, go straight up, vertical. Yes, all right, this is awesome. 
This is awesome. Oh, where can we go to? There should be an island that we fly over. No, I don't know. All right, okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's go ahead and just jump out. Let's go. No, go, go, go. Ow, I think I got hit by a propeller. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture. Oh, there we go. Cool. Look at that. It's falling out of the sky now. <laughs> it is. I should have turned on altitude hold or something like that. But no. No, we didn't. We didn't do that. Oh, you know what? It's going to take too long. It's going to take far too long. You can't redeploy either. You can't redeploy your parrot. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Unless it's a miracle. It's a miracle. No, it's not. I died. I died. All right, cool. Well, um, yeah, it's a really cool plane. We didn't get to find the Megalodon, but um, we'll go ahead and try and find it in the next video where we use another creation to go and get it or to, to, to find it. Um, so, yeah, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. If you guys want to check out that plane, it is awesome. You guys can uh, you guys can try it out for yourselves. It'll be linked down below. And, um, yeah, I'll leave that there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.